In today's presentation, we will be showing the proper installation of a timing belt cover and a crankshaft pulley on a 1.3 liter Suzuki Samurai engine. We begin with the timing belt cover. The parts and supplies needed for this job are the timing belt cover, eight bolts and one nut, the timing cover seal, and two channel seals. The tools needed are a nut driver with a 10 millimeter socket, a torque wrench with a 10 millimeter socket, some super glue and scissors. We're going to install the channel seals and we're going to have to trim them because they are a little long. So we're going to stick, they're going to go right above the water pump here. There's going to be one. You'll mark it, pull it out, trim that off, insert it back in there. And then below the water pump, you have another one. It will also be long. Turn it off. We're going to take our timing cover and we have our seal here. We're just going to help hold the seal in place and just kind of put a couple dabs of super glue just in a couple areas where the cover seal tends to want to fall out. Yeah, this is almost immediate. As soon as you stick that rubber seal on there, it's stuck. Just gonna run it all the way around the timing cover. And once you get to the end, you will need to trim it. Trim that right there. So before you put your timing cover on, verify you're on top dead center number one. Just leave it in that position so when you stab your distributor, it's easier to stab the distributor on number one than it is on number four. Just from location of it. So we're going to install the eight bolts in one nut. You're going to have two shorter bolts that are going to go on the bottom. leave them all loose until you get them all in. Sometimes these aftermarket timing covers have to be pried out and don't always line up perfectly. Snug. So we're going to set our torque wrench to seven foot pounds. Now we'll show the installation of the crankshaft pulley. The parts needed are the crankshaft pulley and four bolts. The tools needed are a nut driver and a torque wrench, both fitted with 10 millimeter sockets. Position the crankshaft pulley on the crankshaft. Be sure the notch on the crankshaft fits in the groove of the pulley. Additionally, the timing mark on the crankshaft pulley should match up with the timing marks on the timing belt cover. Install and snug the pulley bolts. After all four bolts are installed and snugged, torque the bolts to 8 foot-pounds. 
That concludes today's presentation. We remind you that all the parts and supplies required for this job can be purchased through our website at www.lowrangeoffroad.com or by calling 801-805-6644.